I know you also use uh, LLMs for enhancing operational efficiency. Can you maybe share how you've done that and sort of the specific tasks that the LLM does? What we try to do is to enhance coding efficiency. So I manage a team of developers, PMs, analysts. They're all very good at quantitative investing. However, sometimes you have new people coming in or new teams that want to be onboarded onto the infrastructure. So how do we make sure that it, we don't have to reinvent the wheel and train them for six months in order to learn all the nitty gritty in all the code base, the repos that we have been developing over the last 10, 15 years? Because this is a huge amount of information here. What is interesting is that we've been making mistakes and maybe we would be doing things differently. And uh, I want to share some of that experience. Um, Initially, what we thought was that uh, helping people code more efficiently is very different from ingesting large amount of text. Because when you read a piece of code, it's not super uh, digestible. And the first thing that we tried is to feed these uh, LMs a large amount of code without much context. And the answer, as expected, came back as complete garbage. Complete hallucinations, very difficult for the assistant to understand anything. So, then we thought, okay, let's cut it in chunks. And that maybe resonate with some people in the earlier uh, panel that talked about agentic uh, LLM architecture. So what is this? It means that you have a little guy, a little agent that's very good at doing something, understanding part of the infrastructure. You have another little guy that's very good and trained at doing something else. And you've got some sort of an agent on top of it that arbitrates and exchanges information in between these two in order to come up with a chain of thought passing information between one and the other, and then coming up with a final answer. So we started with that. That didn't work very well, because then you just push the problem further. Like, how do you make sure that your top agent actually does the right thing? Uh, and then we realized something else. The quality of the answer was extremely dependent upon the sophistication and the complexity of the underlying LLM model. So whether you're using an LLM with 5 billion parameters or 11 billion parameters, however gigantic these numbers are, it, it makes a real difference. Having something more complex, more rich, enables us to shortcut this thing. So currently what we're doing is to use uh, some of the AWS tools like Bedrock, for instance, which enables us to pick the LLM we want, have no need whatsoever to calibrate the infrastructure because AWS does it, uh, use what we have, but provide a lot of context. So it may need adding four times or six times more information when you document something, when you write the code, which is a bit of a struggle for developers.